conversation about why we can't afford men in leadership positions anymore, period, period. Men are not fit for office at this time. They just aren't. And I know this might be controversial. I love my share of men in my life. I really do. My brother and my fiance, I love them very much. But I'm just going to be honest and say that men at this time are not fit for office, period. Are not fit for leadership positions, period. The men currently in leadership positions and currently in office are ample proof of that all over the world. Women are raised to put their community above their ambitions. Men are raised to put their ambitions above their community. And it is literally destroying our entire planet. We could literally save our entire planet, our entire ecosystem, and everyone on our planet, every single person, if we were to all decide to not elect men or allow men to fill these positions anymore for a while. Until some retraining, <laughs> until some, until, you know, a generation or two being raised properly to consider women human beings, to consider people outside the gender binary as human beings, to face things like consequences when they sexually assault people, like to, if we were to say, you know, reform media so that things like rape scenes and and humiliating women and all that weren't acceptable anymore if we were like if there were a generation or two who were actually raised properly in a society that considered everyone people then you know i'm not saying that men are inherently not capable of leadership i'm saying the way that they are currently raised makes them ineligible the way that they're raised to put their ambitions and their career above everyone else, above common sense, above the planet itself. If we were to take all of these terrible men, which most of them are, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just true right now. I'm not saying anything that isn't true. There are occasional exceptions. For example, uh, maybe Cory Booker. He's pretty decent. But they're so rare that it's not even worth bothering right now, not with the world literally on fire. You know, men killing people for imaginary gods, men, uh, you know, when women are the creators, literally the creators of the entire human species, created every single human being on planet Earth. And men like to usurp that position by inventing imaginary male gods. If we could stop allowing that, if we could stop, you know, allow at least allowing it in leadership positions, like no more killing for imaginary gods, no more killing for oil, no more killing for any of this. Just take take men out of the leadership equation for a while and we could save the entire planet and everyone on it. I know it might sound hurtful. I know a lot of us want equality, but right now we need to consider equity. 